Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north, more specifically Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and even more specifically than that, I'm in front of the Mattress Factory. This uh, is not a place where they manufacture mattresses, it is formerly involved in the mattress industry. My understanding is that it's been, it has been purchased and transformed into an interactive art environment uh, so not sure I'm not really sure what we are walking into here I, I was absolutely fascinated by something just being called the mattress factory but uh, we're gonna find out together follow me Faces rising from the floor. This interesting chair. Look at that little guy right there. like this little severed head staring out the window in this infinity room. It's a stairway to nowhere it looks like. Oh wow, look at this. There's a horse as a severed head but in between its two head parts are, are faces. These look like speakers or boom boxes. This guy's a little disturbing, uh, mostly because he's dressed in faces and his crotch is a clown. Also, this woman is giving him eyeballs. pitch black you can't hardly see it it's very interesting sculptures with books you can see there through the glass there general zoology here's a tower of charred books Okay, I don't know what's about to happen, but it says, please cover or remove your shoes before entering the exhibit. Here's some shoe covers. I think. I don't, I don't know what's about to happen. Okay, and some sort of mirrored room, some sort of mirrored fun. This is a very interesting experience. Seeing myself, an army of myself. The, boat, the sound in here is different too. Now into the next room. Oh my goodness. mirrored environment these polka dotted ladies really like this sort of uh, immersive experience very very cool
Oh, these almost look like skin suits, like Buffalo Bill would have. What do we have here? Oh, looks like a little lawn to this home right here. Oh, it is locked. I guess we can't go in, but we can peek through the window and enjoy the madness that lies within. Oh, that's really, oh, that bed is just covered in prescription medication. And then over here, we have just a pile of Raggedy Ann, Annabella doll, what, you, what have you. Yeah, this is pretty disturbing. You see the face of this person in this, in this bed, a very sick person, all these prescription bottles. It's actually a bit disarming. I just got off the elevator here and this floor is just total blackness. There's two really dark hallways. Uh, we'll use some uh, outside light to see our way around. Is this like, am I gonna get jump scared? Is this like a haunted house? I thought that was a mirror or a television screen. It is just a hole cut into this empty purpley room. Okay, that's art. Okay, and then we have just another uh, white empty room i i don't understand how art, art works this is it's interesting though it's, you know, it gives you a certain certain feeling i must admit I have just a uh, glowing red uh, projection on the wall that was uh very unique all right this is the restroom area um was this right here. So apparently these are speakers that are filled with powder so that you can see the, the sound that occurs in the building, that the sound will take physical form. Oh, there it goes. You see the sound moving. Okay, this is called the inter interstitium. It says that uh, viewers in a space both familiar and distant were Baruish have emerged from the surfaces. The Baruish are interconnected. When they sense your presence, they yearn to make a connection with you. Other surfaces are portals that converge and extend the search for meaning into infinity from the sides of the void. Sparks become light and form energy stories emerge. All right, let's check this out. Okay, we're moving through this hallway. See the, the lights are flickering. This is what they call the garden. It's a little waterfall flowing under my feet. And uh, yeah, there's a, a chair sitting by itself. And 
what's down here? Okay, we have the staircase that just uh, goes down into the water. So the mattress factory is more than just one building. There's several annex buildings that are in uh, walking distance. We're heading down the alley here to see some more. Oh wow, this is different. Got little cages. Treasure Houses of Britain. Yeah, this is this is quite magical right here. Dollhouse there. It's almost like deconstructed doll housing. See the dressmaker doll. Some zany furniture. Yeah, it's a chair in a box. There's a little peephole right there. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting together the theme as like dismantled, reconstrued dollhouses. And here's the attic of this contraption. This is. This is kind of unsettling, isn't it? What? Model. And house. And city. What? And model. This is scarier than a haunted house. And house. Hmm. Okay, one more building left in the mattress factory complex. This is, this, is, this is something. We have a, a shower in, in here. Looks like there is some uh, graffiti on the shower wall. Uh, 
I don't get it. All right, you go up the stairway, you put your hand on the handrail, and there's actually hot water pouring down the side. That is, that is interesting. The green door. Look at the mirror here. Hello. Oh, it's down there. It's a naked lady. How are you doing, three naked men? There's a little, short little room here. Duck down and get in here and... Oh dear. Um, sorry sir, I didn't realize what was going on in here. And there's a uh, bull with a ship on his head. Yeah, these waterfall handrails. Maybe it's either the, the, the most brilliant thing or the, the, the most stupid. I can't figure it out. Here in the closet, we got uh, some sort of mechanical dog skeleton. Next to the Mattress Museum are these, what they call the Poets Houses. Poets Houses were created here in Pittsburgh as a refuge so that uh, writers from other countries, countries with oppressive governments that didn't have free speech, could come to America and seek refuge in these homes uh, and, and, and write freely. Appreciate you guys coming along uh, with me. Appreciate you got. I appreciate you guys coming along with me to the mattress factory. It is a very, very unique attraction. It is an art museum by definition, but um, the way it's incorporated into the buildings, the way that it's incorporated into the environment, just the surrealism of it all. It's an art museum that I can really get behind. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, check the link in the description. I have an interactive map that will show you where I've been. Um, you can make suggestions on where I should go next. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Uh, consider donating to Patreon. A donation of $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.